Have you heard about you, the hedgehog who, thank you, Derry, <laughs> got into trouble on the A32. He was out there hunting worms and he took a wrong turn. Now he can't get across to get home. I knew I could count on you guys. <laughs> What was I saying? <laughs> no, we can't get across to get home. And all Hugh's family are waiting on the other side as the cars and the lorries whiz by. Hugh's mum began to panic despite the noise of the traffic. Hugh could hear her cry. you gonna do? You gotta get across to get home, son. You gotta get across to get home. Then a kind old man in a transit van pulled over to see what he could do. But you got scared of the man in the van, so he ran and he ran and he ran. And a gang from Milton Keynes on the silver dream machines had to break and swerve and skid. Hugh's mum just looked away. She got down on her knees to pray, saying, Won't somebody help my prickly kid? And you know what she did? She said, Hugh, Hugh, what you gonna do? You gotta get across to get home, son. You gotta get across to get home. She said, Hugh, Hugh, what you gonna do? You gotta get across to get home, son. You gotta get across to get home. Then a farmer in a four by four, doing 80 and a little bit more, came speeding along with his Wellington boot to the floor. There was mud on his windscreen too, and he just didn't see and over the hedgehog road, the four by four. And Hugh's mum cried, oh my gosh, I think my son has just been squashed. But she hadn't considered the condition of the council's room. <laughs> See, they were covered in cracks and holes, into one of them Hugh had rolled. And when his head popped up, his mum could feel a hedgehog heart explode. She said, Hugh, Hugh, I'm a little bit annoyed with you. But you got yourself across in your home, son. You got yourself across in your home. She said, Hugh, Hugh, I'll be kissing and a cuddling you. Now you got yourself across in your home, son. You got yourself across in Thank you.